Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and this really is a short video. Somebody asked me in my mod collection whether I'd actually done anything with the, the bearing which is provided with the, the modular multi-wheels pack. It's ostensibly supposed to be used for connecting trucks to trailers and things like that, but I mentioned that I had in fact built a functional trebuchet, and it's not the first trebuchet I've seen in Kerbal Space Program, but people asked me to post it, so yeah, this is pretty much what I do. You you have, um, you put the, the a capsule on bearings on these on the launch clamps, and then you stick some extra counterweight on the end, and at the far end you have a little probe, and here's a relatively short one. You detach it at the moment of maximum velocity and watch as it soars hundreds of meters across the space center, propelled by the power of gravitational physics. And it actually survives that journey pretty well. It's uh, you know, not an inconsiderable distance, but it's certainly not going to get you to orbit. Let's try that again. Coming back, winding up, watching the giant counterweight move that very long arm, switch over, and I think I went a little higher this time. You can see in the background that it is still moving. Uh, now if you go far enough, then that we will move beyond the physics domain for that object and it will actually stop functioning, it will just freeze in space. There we go, like it's still exploding. Which is always a good sign. So yeah, I make this a bit bigger. I add more weights on the end. We now have um, 13 uh, fuel tanks. 13 is of course for good luck and we've extended this arm somewhat and now we get some real velocity at over 70 meters per second. We see it exploding and demolishing itself as a, I fly away and then it freezes. <laughs> Isn't that awesome, huh? just hanging there in the sky in exactly the same way that bricks don't. Oh yes, another tip to Douglas Adams there. Let's try that again, see if we can get a, a better shot here. And we're obviously exceeding the distance to the to the vehicle assembly building. You can see it fly off a whole lot better if you've got an HD view there. Uh, despite it being lined up perfectly with the vehicle assembly building, it always seems to come off towards the same site. But that's a good, you know, 600 meters is not bad. That's, uh, you know, more than half a kilometer. And yes, uh, as I pointed out, we've moved beyond the physics range and very strange things happen when you do that. So here we have it just hanging there waiting for physics to kick back in when I walk near it. <laughs> no! With the power of saved game editing, I can actually move this to the moon. And uh, it took several attempts, and most of the time the thing would randomly explode. But here it is. Now, one of the things to notice is that the flexibility of the extended arm, well, it's stronger, so it wobbles faster. And uh, you have to pick the right time. But if you pick the right time, you can actually get a serious throw. Now... We're escaping at roughly the same velocity, and that's largely due to me being fortuitous in the timing of the the detachment. You know, we're basically catching the wobble in the right direction. And I know what you're thinking, can you build a trebuchet big enough to toss something into orbit? You know, if we switch this out to Minmus, could we do it? Well, one thing to realize is that as you switch it to different planets with lower escape velocities, the gravity is weaker. And this whole thing is powered by gravity, so it doesn't automatically mean that if you move to Minmus you would get something that would go into escape uh, velocity. No, you would actually have to build a bigger and longer device still. What's more likely is that you mess up your save game design and uh, your thing ends up shooting off to infinity at some ridiculous velocity. And I've had several times that happened. Of course, that's assuming you set no crash damage and unbreakable joints. As you can see, this is bouncing across the landscape for an eternity. Anyway, uh, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.